As part of our English heritage, where School of Arts was started in the 1830s, as part of the Industrial Revolution, and when the settlers came to Australia, the first thing they did in most regional areas was set up a School of Arts, even if it was only in a little one-roomed hut at the time. Well, a School of Arts, originally it was for technical training, and it gave who were well educated the opportunity to help their workers to learn how to read and write and once they could read the written word they began to read prose and poetry and this progressed into the other cultural pursuits of music and art. The people realised they wanted a place to meet at that time. They put up a small building and began having meetings. So council actually only took the building over in the 1970s at, at that time, the only chance people had to exhibit their works was either, either at the regional show. When this space became available, uh, the Art Society said they'd like to set up a gallery. And the council gave them permission to use. I joined the Art Society so I could practice art, but soon took over of being assistant director. Uh, the director was more a figurehead, so they needed someone to run it, so I just organised exhibitions. Shortly I became a director of Queensland Regional Galleries Association which was set up by the local government and I'd been going down to Brisbane. Also I became a member of that mainly to get to <laughs> exhibitions for here because they were the main body that toured ex exhibitions around the state and once I became involved with them and they could not believe that Bundaberg didn't have a professionally run gallery that were all volunteers. We established the, uh, the new library which was housed in where Bragg is today. The building the council was thinking what they could do with that building and of course some of the council thought oh goody we'll sell it off its prime real estate we'll get a lot of dough to do something with but uh, once we had a professionally run library I couldn't see why we couldn't have a professionally run gallery and I was on council at the time so I resigned from here so that I could lobby without having a conflict of interest and influence the council of the day to go ahead and uh, have that building refurbished as a permanent regional gallery for this area. Mm. The School of Arts, which we're still fortunate to have after so many years of use in all pursuits of the community, is still the main incentive for the arts in Bundaberg.